presence here once again, once again together to worship him, to glorify him, to praise and adore him. Lord, um, we ask that you hear our petitions. We ask, Lord, that, uh, that as we come together in worship, that we may go back as changed people. And uh, we sing a song which our blessed mother. And um, those of you who know it, you can sing along, otherwise just listen. Hail Queen of Heaven, the ocean star, guide of the wanderer, here below, thrown on life's search, we gain thy care, save seated and let us recite the Holy Rosary. Heavenly Father, we humble ourselves in your presence. Grant us to be filled with your grace, peace, love, and joy of your, of your holy presence. With Mother Mary, with the holy angels and saints, we come to praise you, to bless you, to thank you, and to glorify your holy name. Send your Holy Spirit upon us and fill this temple in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, who was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is sitting at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Three Hail Marys for virtue of hope, faith, and charity. Sorry. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The first of sorrowful mystery is the agony of our Lord in the garden. Lord, on our knees, we pray for miraculous healing for Father Louis, all cancer patients, all who are terminally ill, and for those that care for them. Heavenly Father, you are the giver of life, health, and comfort. Give your power of healing to those in need and relieve your sick servants so that they may be strengthened in their weaknesses and have confidence in your loving care for them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of mercy. The second sorrowful mystery is scourging of our Lord at the pillar. Dear Lord, we come before you today to pray for our elected leaders, leaders among us who need courage and integrity to stand for what is right 
and that they will not lead selfishly and for personal ambition. Draw them close to yourself, your wisdom, and your ways. We ask that you help them in making decisions that align with what you would like to accomplish in your will and your plan for your people. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <coughs> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The third sorrowful mystery is crowning of our Lord with thorns. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you today with a humble heart and open arms, asking that you may grant our church leaders strength and courage in their leadership. Give them the strength to carry out their divine purpose and to stand firm in their faith. Send your Holy Spirit to every heart and teach them how to trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou most women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fourth sorrowful mystery, our Lord carries the cross to Calvary. Lord Jesus, hear the prayer of your mother for all of us gathered in this holy place tonight, for all watching online, for Father Sam, Father Louis, volunteers, the choir, all prayer petitions and tomorrow healing service. We wish to be your disciples, Lord. Teach us to take up our crosses every day, to greet those we meet along the way with kindness, and to quickly rise up each time we fall. Jesus, help us to understand how to greet, to greet, to greet your love, how great your love is for us, and forgive us sins which pinned you to the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. The fifth sorrowful mystery is cru crucifixion and death of our Lord. Blood of Christ poured out on the cross, falling upon the earth in agony for your people. We pray for conversion of sinners, that your people may find you, Jesus, and desire to know you, to love you, to serve you, and serve others out of love for you. We pray for all the souls in purgatory, those that nobody prays for, and those that you will call to you tonight. Now let us pause for a minute for our own intention. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we stand upon our sides, mourning and weeping this valley of tears. Turn the most gracious advocate thy now towards us, and after this our exile, show us unto the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray, O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has secured us toward Grant, we beseech thee, that by the meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy, holy Rosary, St. Joseph, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
this floor let us all stand Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. As we come this evening, let's offer all our prayers. And we also request prayers for the sick people. Tomorrow, uh, we will be having the cancer prayer, uh, prayer for cancer patients. So request your prayers now itself uh, to offer all this uh, cancer patients who are struggling and uh, where life is slipping from them let's offer them and pray also remember all your prayers let's close our eyes for a moment offering all our prayers uh, trusting god's mercy we pray i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done what i have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any who belonged to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now, as he was going along and approaching Damascus, suddenly a light from heaven flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? He asked, Who are you, Lord? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. But get up and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless because they heard the voice but saw no one. Saul got up from the ground, and though his eyes were open, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. For three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. Now there was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. At this moment he is praying, and he has seen a vision, a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to bind all who invoke your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is an instrument whom I have chosen to bring my name before Gentiles and kings and before the people of Israel. I myself will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. He laid his hands on Saul and said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on your way here, has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes, and his sight was restored. Then he got up and was baptized, and after taking some food, he regained his strength. For several days Saul was with the disciples in Damascus, and immediately he began to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, saying, Jesus is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol him, all you peoples. For great is his steadfast love towards us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Please rise.
The Lord be with you. And your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. The Jews disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life and will raise them up the last day. For my flesh is true food and my blood is true drink. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things while he was teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Please be seated. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We, love you, Jesus. we love you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. We, adore you, Jesus. we trust in you, Jesus. We trust in you. Thank, you, Thank you, Lord, for this day, for this, day. For this holy hour, for, this for your living word. Your living word. Give, us Give us the grace, O Lord, to understand your word. To understand, your message, to understand your message, to accept it, to accept and, to it and to practice it for your greater glory. Your greater glory. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear loving brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, throughout this last week, we where we are meditating, trying to come more close towards the presence of our Lord in the Eucharist. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To understand a divine mystery, to understand the divine will and plan about us or anything, to grasp, to taste the Lord more and more, or to come close to Him, we always need a strong faith, a complete faith. With our head alone, with our brain, with our reason alone, if we try uh, to understand, we will not be able to understand, but we start resisting. Uh, we start resisting that. Uh, a resistance will happen in us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we need is the heart of Peter when, we, when he answered to the Lord, Lord, where can we go? The life-giving words are in you. Hallelujah. 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 Both the readings of today gives us the same message. In the first reading, we find uh, Saul, who was persecuting the Christians, with an understanding that what he was doing was right. According to him, with his reason, when and he looked at things and when he started following in the scripture, for him, what he was doing is right. He was doing something great for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he was satisfied in that. He could not find any fault, any wrong, in killing the innocents uh, who followed uh, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And at one point, the Lord 
uh, appeared to him. He had an encounter with the Lord, we read. And he was made blind with the help of a member of the church. He was taken and, and to the godly person, Ananias. And who was Ananias? And Ananias was given a message by the Lord that you have to go and meet such and such a person called Saul and uh, pray over him and he will receive sight and he will be an instrument in the hands of the Lord. But Ananias could not accept him. Being a godly person, and though it was a message from the Lord, in the beginning he tried to look at that message of the Lord uh, with his reason. When he looked uh, what qualification this uh, soul has and what kind of person he is and what he is doing, what he was doing. He was uh, uh, persecuting the Christians. He was ill-treating, he was killing them in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 And for him, he is now blind. Uh, if he gets sight, he is going to continue the same thing. He is going to persecute more and more. He is going to be a danger for the, uh, for the people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he, in the beginning, he resisted. But the more he resisted, the Lord insisted, no, you have to go. He is going to be a powerful instrument. I have a plan with him. He is going to bring the good news to the Gentiles. Hallelujah. 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 Then when he started uh, looking at the invitation, the message of the Lord, the command of the Lord with an uh, eyes of faith, a heart of faith, he could accept and he went in obedience. And what happened, we know. We got a, a, a powerful, a powerful apostle. Hallelujah. 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 In the gospel also we find the same thing when the beginning, when Jesus said that I am the living bread. I am the bread that has come down from heaven. I'm giving you my flesh and blood for you as food and drink. Those who eat of my flesh, those who drink of my blood will live, will have eternal life. Praise the Lord. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> will have everlasting life. They will abide in me. I will abide in them. That was the message of Jesus. And who were the audience of Jesus, the Jewish people, uh, they could not understand. Because for anybody it is like that. If somebody offers their flesh for us or uh, to uh, drink their blood, how would we feel? What would be our approach to them? It's it, it is something we look at as cannibalism, right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, it, it is a scandal. It is a scandal, according to the Jewish scriptures and their law. The Jewish people, for, from their part, they looked at it. They, they were scandalized at the teaching. They, how, how is it possible? They, uh, they tried to understand that uh, with whatever is possible, whatever is given to them to understand uh, from the part of the world. That is only through reason. So they were not able to understand it, accept it, digest it. They resisted it, they murmured, they grumbled, they questioned, they criticized, they mocked him. Even those who were closely following him, in the following passage we read in the chapter 6 of the Gospel of John, that his clo closest followers, many left, many left, few were left behind. Even they, they were in a situation, how to respond, they do not know. It is at that point that Jesus asked the question, if you cannot understand, you can also go. Do you also want to go? That means, uh, if you are not able to understand, grasp it in faith, you can also go. There, Peter gives a bold answer, where can we go, Lord, when the words of life are with you? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Praise you, Jesus. The more they resisted, we find Jesus insisting more, step by step, unless you eat my flesh. He also... Uh, Unless you drink my blood, you have no life. Without Jesus, there is no other choice for us. There is no other source for uh, life. There is no other source for salvation. There is no other source for redemption. Our meaning, our everything is Jesus. 
we exist because of him hallelujah 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 not only here even after this life on this earth we have eternal life only if we receive him it was a straight statement given hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah we come to the church we participate in the holy eucharist we we come before the altar to receive the lord uh, in the communion in the form of bread and wine uh, how much awareness do we have when we participate in the holy eucharist how much faith and trust do we have when we receive the lord in the eucharist in our tongue or in our hand when we receive how much faith do we have when we come close to him what kind of feeling do we have it is important to meditate to think we are not just uh, coming to the church as viewers who go to the uh, theater to watch a movie or a drama or sitting in our uh, chairs at the house uh, before our television watching some serials or some documentaries or before our mobile phone if like that if we come and go we won't have any experience we come we go there won't be any change in us we will not be able to find any meaning in that hallelujah hallelujah each time when we come we should have some newness uh, in our presence before the lord in participating in the eucharist in receiving the lord there should be some change in us happening that we should feel that we should experience hallelujah Amen. hallelujah Amen. if that should happen we should come to participate not as uh, viewers hallelujah Amen. we should come to participate in the eucharist with the uh, belief and faith that we are not just receiving an ordinary food or ordinary bread or any a lifeless object we are receiving the same jesus of nazareth who has said that i am the living bread praise the lord praise hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah 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 without me you have no life you have eternal life you are, you have everlasting life i abide in you and you abide in me if you receive me in faith and trust with that trust and faith when we approach when we receive when we touch then things changes we are being transformed what happened to saul there saul became paul at the encounter of jesus the same encounter happens in our life also in each and every area of our life we get new understanding we get new outlook things uh, changes in our life hallelujah 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 the moment i receive the lord in my hand in the eucharist the moment he comes into me it is no longer i but it's christ who lives in me christ takes the control my body soul mind my nerves each and every cell in my body is christ hallelujah i become another tabernacle who carries jesus who uh, uh, the lord's living presence is in me each and every time that's what is happening when we come to the church uh, what a reverence we have uh, we are so pious uh, we see the spiritual decorum uh, everything uh, even i have observed where we observe that when the altar boys carry the monstrance empty monstrance you know, how careful they carry how pious when they come to the sacristy this when the sacristians approach even when the presence of the lord uh, is not there in the tabernacle when it's empty when they clean that uh, how much care for with great uh, reverence and respect and they handle the liturgical uh, vessels uh, the tabernacle the monstrance everything and when the presence of the lord is there in the tabernacle how, how much uh, aware we are uh, we kneel we bow uh, praise the lord the living presence of the lord is there he's living the same lord when he comes to us we become another tabernacle hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. this awareness should lead us forward i am carrying jesus 
I am the temple of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then my words, my thoughts, my plans, my actions, my lifestyle, my behavior, my emotions, my relationship with others gets a new, uh, new change. Praise the Lord. Amen. There will be change in that. We will be careful. There will be a lot of change in that. Hallelujah. Amen. We become uh, a new creation, transform people. And with the same faith, when we start looking at people living with us and living around us, then it becomes uh, more a blessing. When I look at my husband or wife or my son, my daughter, who along with me has received the Lord in the Eucharist in the same Eucharistic celebration along with me, they also become another tabernacle. Those who carry uh, Jesus, the living Christ. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, my son is a tabernacle who is carrying uh, the uh, uh, Eucharistic Lord. My wife is a tabernacle who is carrying the Eucharistic Lord. My father, my mother, my friend, a member of the church, when we look at them as people who are temple of God carrying the living presence of the Lord, then our relationship with them, the way we look at them, the way we deal with them, everything changes. Something that is impossible in the past, something that is uh, like a, a, something, it's a, a hard thing for us uh, to manage, uh, everything becomes smooth and easy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then we will have uh, the grace and gift very easily to overflow the love of Christ that is in us onto our beloved ones and people living around us, towards our children, parents, even to whom we thought it is impossible for me to show that kind of love. When I look at that person as a person carrying Jesus, the Lord's presence is there in, in that person, uh, in my son, or in my uh, uh, life partner, or in my brother, uh, whom I cannot forgive, whom I cannot accept, who, whose uh, plans and decisions I cannot tolerate, whose views I cannot adjust with, uh, digest with. When we look at them as caring Lord, then our, our approach is easy to love, easy to forgive, easy to understand, easy to accept and live with. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Then the atmosphere in us in our family, in the society, in the church, in the ministry, everything gets transformed. We glorify God, one another. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For that, we have to approach the Lord each and every time with the full awareness, with our heart. Accept the Lord with the heart, not with reason alone. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We ask more grace from the Lord through this Eucharist. Lord, Give us more grace to understand this divine mystery more and more, to accept, to enjoy, to cherish, and to give to others to proclaim your glory. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen.
pray, church, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever, therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people excels in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by you of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Francis our Archbishop, and Ivan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
there with blessed virgin mary mother of god her spouse saint joseph with the blessed apostles with saint vincent and all the saints who have pleased you throughout ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Peace of the Lord be with you always. Suffer each other, sign of peace. who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb i am not worthy that i should enter into my but at least say the word my soul shall be healed the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring you, Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have received Jesus. Jesus is with us, in us, around us, and so with full hope and trust, offer all your prayers and praise God. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, Lord. You are in us, Lord. Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit, temple of you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, we give you glory, we give you praise, we give you honor, be glorified in our praises, Lord. This is your house, Lord, your temple, Lord, we are your temple, Lord, glorious temple of the Holy Spirit, Lord. All sickness be taken away, Lord, we will worship, Lord, of mercy, mercy, all the zones suffering, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We worship, we worship, we worship. We worship, we worship, we worship. We worship, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 in your name, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 halleluj
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Our soul longs for you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. One person having a life-threatening sickness in the brain, the Lord is healing that person. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Pray the word of God. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. If I only touch the hem of his garment, I will be healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We increase faith. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, let your healing flow, Lord. People sick, Lord. People are suffering, Lord. Have mercy on your people, Lord. Have mercy. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, praise you, praise you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In your name, Lord. In your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. In your name, Lord. Blessing, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We claim it in your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Two couples waiting for some paperwork. Uh, worried the lord is blessing you the lord is blessing the paperwork thank you father thank you jesus 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 hallelujah hallelujah pray the word of god god is able to deliver us 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 God is able to deliver us. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Five people praying for a life partner. Some even not praying. The Lord is blessing the five people. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Pray the word of God. My soul longs for you. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Closing your eyes, offer all your prayers as you receive the blessing. Whatever fear you have, whatever anxiety you have, whatever sickness, struggle, 
receive in jesus name receive the blessing you claim it lord as i receive your blessing i am healed i am blessed i am delivered pray pray in your heart all the prayers remember the prayers thank you jesus thank you jesus in your name lord we bless them thank you father thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus the lord be with you and with may almighty god bless you all father son and the holy spirit Amen. the mass is ended go and glorify the lord thanks, thanks be to god, to god. Saint Michael. Saint Michael the Archangel defend us in the day of battle be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil may God rebuke him we humbly pray unto thou prince of the heavenly by the power of God cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl throughout the world seeking the ruin of souls Amen Queen of Peace Saint Joseph all the apostles sisters today we're gonna to be singing a really beautiful song uh, I really love it as soon as uh, you know Johnny brought it up to me for uh, practice one day 
It's called uh, Nothing Else. And the beauty of the song is it talks about how we're caught up in the Lord's presence and how we just want to sit at his feet, just caught up in this holy moment and never wanting to leave. And that's the problem, my brothers and sisters. Today, in today's world, when we come before God, when we come before uh, for a service like today or just any service in general, Sunday, Mass, Adoration, we always bring up things to God like for blessings, like we're asking for, oh, I want this new car, I want this house, I want more a promotion, I want something. It's something that we want all the time. And my brothers and sisters, that's not the point. Like, the, the, the thing is, we're supposed to be praying to get into heaven. Amen? Amen. I know it's easy for me to say, like, you know, I always, I'm guilty of the same sin. You know, always praying for things, always wanting more things. But at, in the end, the end goal for all of us here is getting into heaven. Amen? Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, this time when we pray, just pray that, you know, when we're praying, singing the song, just pray that we want nothing else but you, O oh God. You're the only thing I want. Just like St. Peter said, Oh Lord, you have the words of eternal life. Where else can we go? And the beautiful story, or the beautiful uh, conversion story of St. Paul today, how he changed his entire life around just so that everything he did was for God. He was the greatest persecutor of the time. And it's crazy how how everything got turned around, the tables turned, and now he is the number one person leading the charge for God's uh, gospel. And things like that, you know, just mesmerizing me, like how God works in us. And I want you to pray the same thing, just like St. Paul did, just be mesmerized by him, be blinded by his light, and ask God, there's nothing else I want except you, oh God. Amen? Amen. And also, there's one more thing I want to touch up here. Uh, nothing else, you know, this song is so beautiful. It has a verse that says, oh, I'm not here for blessings. And, and it really struck me because, you know, most of the time we really want blessings and we really want, you know, the glory. But it's all about Him. It's nothing that we do or nothing that we say that can affect anything in this world. It's all through Him that we get these blessings. So first, look for Christ. And everything else is going to be added on to us. Amen? Amen. So as we sing this song, my brothers and sisters, let's all stand for a second. And we'll sing this song and have this one prayer in our hearts that we want nothing else except you, O oh God. I'm there. 
Listen to the word of God in Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 52 and 53. Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verse 52 and 53. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. If it's on your screen, would you lift up your hand and pray the word of God? And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. Say it again. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's be seated. It's interesting that the song... Uh, Lord, I need you. We all need God, and uh, we pray God to bless us. However, today I want to uh, request you, in fact, teach you uh, to bless the Lord, right? Instead of God blessing you, that is fine. Uh, it increases your strength. God's blessing increases your strength. In God's blessing um, has power to change situations. God's blessing uh, is supernatural. Uh, it moves things. However, uh, today, tonight, we are going to see that what happens when we bless the Lord. Blessing the Lord is the only thing God does not share with others. And blessing the Lord is the only thing that you can give to God. All that you have is given by God. Do you get it? God does not give you worship. Only He deserves worship. Worship is due to God. And that's what we are learning today, blessing the Lord. And it's scriptural throughout the scripture, even the famous song that you always sing, uh, bless the Lord, O my soul. And it narrates the list of things, why you need to bless the Lord. And uh, blessing the Lord is in a way, worshipping the Lord. And let's look at worship. 
like worship uh, invites the presence of God. When you are in worship, uh, the presence of God fills the place. And it's not necessary that you should have songs or you should have uh, music, you should have a, uh, someone to lead you into worship. Uh, worship which you can even do in your private space, where if you are a really a worshiper, then uh, in your private space, in your personal space, God's uh, presence fills the place. And when God's glory uh, overshadows you, that what happened to Virgin Mary, when God's glory overshadows you, then uh, you feel confident, you feel brave, you feel, uh, you, you feel the power. Let's look at Second Corinthians, Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles, chapter five, verse uh, thirteen and fourteen. Before they are preparing for battle, later on we'll see. But just for you, where the priests, the Levites, they all gathered together, they sanctified themselves, and the trumpet sound, the tr sound of trumpet for praise is being raised, and everybody cries out, um, God is good, give thanks to God for his mercy endures forever. And as they begin to praise, the glory of the Lord fills the place in such a way that the priests are unable to minister to the Lord. If it's on your screen, can you read it? Second Chronicles chapter 5, 13 and 14. It was the duty of the trumpeters and singers to make themselves heard in unison, in praise and thanksgiving to the Lord. And when the song was raised with trumpets and cymbals and other musical instruments, in praise to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. The house, the house of the Lord, was filled with a cloud. So that the priests could not stand to minister because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. Hallelujah. 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 So, church, when you worship the Lord, even when you are alone, sometimes we all need a push, we all need support, we need someone to join us to pray. However, uh, when you are praying, not only offer your petitions, but this is the one thing you can give to God, worship. And only God is worthy of worship. He does not share worship with anyone. And this is the only thing God will not give you. You have to give to God, worship. And when you give, to, give God worship, uh, when you are praising God, suddenly uh, this, you will feel the presence of the Lord and uh, the glory filling you and you... Uh, get some things are bad but then suddenly you think God is in control God is still enthroned and uh, no matter what happens my God is alive God is living and I live because of God hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. today first time I did uh, not first time after a long time I did dishwashing because father was not there so I was washing the dish then as I was washing the dishes so I started praising God and then suddenly uh, um, the plates were slipping out of my hand because suddenly I could feel uh, uh, God's glory filling the kitchen with his power right that, and I said, yeah. then I stopped praising God because I could not continue that's what happens right so even whether you are in the kitchen doing your dishwashing even in your shower when you are praising God suddenly uh, something changes. You will feel it, church. You will try it tonight. Try it tonight when you are sleeping. Uh, when, before sleeping, uh, go to your bedroom, kneel down, and nobody is there. Uh, of course, if you have spouse with you, it's different. Go to the washroom and then praise God. <laughs> and there is something that you invite the presence of God. You really invite. And when the presence of God comes, see, we all, actually, uh, it's, it's not... It would be not, like, it would be good to generalize, right, that everybody is frustrated, right? Everybody is frustrated with something or the other. When we meet people, Father, God has blessed us so much, so much, so much, however. <laughs> right? That they are waiting for that, however. They are not telling about, they really don't want to tell about the blessing, but this is just the introduction uh, to say, however, my life is my daughter. 
my spouse, my however is always there. But can, can it come a time where uh, we will delete that however because we have so much faith and trust in the Lord like you prayed after the Holy Communion. If I only touch the hem of his garment, my cancer will be healed. My brain tumor will be healed. My uh, bro broken relation will be healed. So that will happen when you, when you become a worshiper. When you become a worshiper. There are people who generously give benefactors however uh, very few are worshipers are worshipers and don't don't think the choir and all is just a part of worship but not the whole of worship worship actually is obedience to god the first worship we see in um, in book of genesis uh, chapter 22 it's it's a chapter you can read it where the sacrifice of Abraham is uh, there, where Abraham has to sacrifice his only son, his only son. And sometimes God puts you in a situation where you begin to think, God, why are you doing this to me? Abraham waited the whole life for a child, and now when the child is given, God is telling, give it back. Give it back. That's what blessing is. You are praying for blessing. Blessing is not for you. And before he gives the blessing, he will break you. So, if you have any questions, please ask God directly, <laughs> right? So, God gave the blessing and then God is asking back, give it back. And uh, Abraham, you see, Abraham is willing to lay his child at the altar. Lay his only child, Isaac, the one, right? Uh, he's, he's willing. That's obedience. That's obedience which forms uh, in our daily life uh, when... Uh, when you have temptations to fall into sin, do you obey God to uh, not commit that sin or you give in to pleasure, uh, whether it is uh, through your words, whether it is through your actions or whether you have not said anything, you have uh, not done anything, but your attitude matters which God sees. The way your disposition of the heart, like during the Eucharistic miracles, by the way, thank you so much for your prayers. During the Eucharistic miracles, maybe it's the psychology of the faithful, that because it was labeled Eucharistic miracle, a lot of miracles happened because people expected miracles. Right? A lot of testimonies during the Eucharistic miracles and um, where God is showing that He is truly present in the Holy Mass during the Holy Adoration. He is truly present. He was touching lives of people. Many testimonies, whether it is physical, whether it is emotional, God was touching. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, obedience to God's will is worship. That is true worship. We may think it's just singing music and all other things that you do, but actual worship is obedience to God's will. If you obey God's will, uh, if you obey God, you, you know, like we all are tempted to even to quit God, to quit our faith, to give up. And maybe your knowledge is getting uh, uh, in the way of God's blessing where you think that uh, I already know what is going to happen. So, so be it. So you're not getting and seeing a miracle. Do you get it, what I'm trying to say? Right? Maybe the doctor told you like, yeah, this is it. And then you also are maybe a doctor. Uh, and you also know, yeah, uh, well, normally it doesn't happen. Very rare case, one in million. But who knows, you could be that one in million where you get the miracle. Do you get it? So your faith, your faith, never give up till the end, no matter what, whether it is strained relationship, whether somebody walked out, whether uh, praying for a gift, um, looking for some blessing. When you keep knocking, keep knocking as he has commanded us to do. Ask and you will receive. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open. Keep knocking. Where, whoever it is, you should keep knocking. And that's your worship. That's your worship, trusting the Lord. See, when Abel offered sacrifice, he was accepted. Cain was not accepted. And you have a lot of explanations for that. One of the things it's written is that God had regard for Abel. God had regard for Abel. This is very important. Before the sacrifice was offered, he was accepted. Abel was accepted. The reason you know why? Because God knew his heart. God knows your heart. God knows what you are going to do tonight at 11 p.m. 
God already knows. God, like after going after this worship session, after praying here, what you are going to do in the night, God already knows. Maybe some of you are planning for a movie. Some of you are planning for entertainment. I prayed so much. Three hours. Ah, three hours. And then I need some break. And then you go for a break. Entertainment. That's how the devil enters. Entertainment. He enters. You, you open the door and he enters. And then you entertain. And then uh, you worship three hours. Then you watched something. And then morning you get up guilty. Regrets. Because uh, the heart of worship is not there. Maybe for some time the worship is there. But what God sees in your heart, if you are really a worshiper, God takes over. His glory overshadows you. His glory takes over. And then you do not have to do anything. Uh, God will do it for you. God will do it for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So blessing God is obedience. Worship is obedience to God. Worship is your weapon. Worship is your weapon. So we all worry, all worry. And um, there are stages, right? That till we die, we worry. Like we want to get uh, young soon when we are a child. When we are young, we want to get become adult. And after ad becoming adult, we want to go back. That we cannot, then after 60, then the second childhood starts. Right? Right? And... Uh, it's always the stages. So we are never completely free. We are never completely free. That's why um, recently uh, we had this solar eclipse. Right? Can you control solar eclipse? So leave it to God. Right? You cannot control solar eclipse. Leave it to God. What you can control, you do it. You can control the words that you speak. That you can definitely control. And I heard this, that... Uh, whatever the devil is doing to you is informed by you. Whatever the devil is doing for you is because you have said it. Your words have power. You say some curse word, you say some negative word, you say like uh, you come to the priest for blessing and the priest, uh, okay, I'm going to pray for you. It's okay, Father. It's okay, Father. So, so be it. The blessing won't work because you have already negated the blessing. I'm going to pray for you. Let me pray that uh, you be healed. It's okay, Father. Then we attend the funeral. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So church, worship is your weapon against worries. We all have worries. Even the priest worries. Like um, yesterday, the, the volunteer was taking me uh, to to St. Joseph Parish for the retreat. Again, thank you for your prayers. God bless the people. And they could see me worrying a lot while traveling. I said the rosary. I said the uh, divine mercy. And then they saw, as I was worshiping, I was turning this uh, Bible. It's a new Bible. And uh, my old Bible, which I have, has gone for renovation. <laughs> so, it is, so I'm using this. I'm getting the word. It is there. And they saw me worrying. They saw me worrying, but in my worries, I was worshipping, worshipping, worshipping. And they supported me by they themselves joining in the praise. My only fear was that while I was driving, I've told this once, only when holy God, holy God, then suddenly the person who was driving suddenly started making the sign of the cross, but left the staring, right? <laughs> <laughs> of course, the lane was where the lane the assist was there, so we were on the lane. But never do that when you are praising. Don't leave the staring, right? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't have to worry about anything. Things that you can control, try to control. Other things, leave it to God. Other things leave it to God. You, uh, you are wasting your time by worrying and it will not do you good. In fact, it will take away your sleep. You will have restlessness and nothing will happen. See, uh, one woman is a testimony I think I may have given. Uh, please forgive me if it's repeated. Uh, one woman, she's a scientist. Scientist. Uh, she was so busy, uh, uh, ingrained in studies that uh, she forgot about marrying. And then now, late 40s, uh, she now is a scientist. And then, uh, 
I forgot. The one thing in life I forgot. I said, it's okay. I, I, I still thank the Lord. She was thanking the Lord. And then um, a now husband who was in seminary for 13 years. 13 years. The next day at Jesuit formation is almost 14 years. Jesuit, uh, we have 12 years. Uh, Jesuit, Salatians, uh, Franciscans also, I believe, they are 14 years. Vincentians have 12 years. Archdiocese of uh, Toronto has only 6 or 7 years. <laughs> and uh, so uh, third, after completing 13 years, he's a deacon now. And then suddenly uh, something... Uh, vocation crisis, whatever, comes out of the seminary and then decides to marry. And then this scientist girl is there. She's in her 40s and then marries. Now they have twins. Late, late marriage. She did not pray for. But what was her, even though in the seminary came out? Now don't pray for... <laughs> <laughs> Don't pray for seminarians. Don't go to St. Augustine Seminary, stand at the gate and like, hi. Any chance of coming out? <laughs> right? Don't do that. But this happened to this woman uh, who, 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 who never, she said, her testimony, Father, I never prayed for even marriage. I never prayed for, I just, I went to church. Um, I thanked the Lord. I was, I just, I just thanked the Lord. And then this boy came. I didn't know. They came, he, she even came to know on a wedding day and later on that uh, uh, he was an ex-seminarian because on the wedding day many priests showed up. Many priests showed up because his friend priest. All those who were priests, uh, all uh, his, his uh, friends, everybody showed up. Then she was believing, is it a wedding or ordination? So many priests, so many priests. And even afterwards, as he was praying, as he was saying, Bible sharing and all, then after a few years, he opened up saying, I was in the seminary for 13 years. I was a deacon, transitional deacon. Transitional deacon, huh? those are going to become priests. Permanent deacons, they like you have uh, deacons here. So uh, she just praised God. She just praised God. And for all of you, maybe uh, for girls, we have a lot of prayer requests. Uh, it's nothing is wrong with you. But don't feel uh, sad and get into despair because it's not happening. What is yours will? You just have to worship. And uh, on the side note, don't idolize marriage. We are talking about worship, right? Worship is only for one person, God, right? The first commandment, you shall have no God before me. So when you, it's not happening, then uh, you show attitude, uh, you want to give up on God. Uh, that's a way that you are uh, idolizing marriage. Marriage becomes an idol. I never knew it when thought and came across. Marriage itself becomes an idol. See, all these are means, not the end. The end is God. End is God. These are all means. But they are not the one. Let not the marriage itself become a block to worship the true, real God. Right? Because you can, you may be idolizing it's not happening marriage is not happening this is the i want it i want it. somehow i want it somehow i want it just because you are thirsty don't drink poison wait wait in god's waiting room you are waiting in god's waiting room you are worshiping hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus word of god says none of them is missing without a mate like maybe we, let's see, for all those who are praying, maybe you can pray this word of God. I gave it to the youth. Uh, Isaiah 34, 16, I believe. Isaiah 34, 16. I'll read out to you Isaiah 34, 16. Seek and read from the book of the Lord. Not one of these shall be missing. None shall be without its mate, for the mouth of the Lord has commanded, and his spirit has gathered them. If it's on your screen, can you pray this word of God? Seek, Seek and read from the book of the Lord. Not one of these shall be missing. None shall be without its mate, for the mouth of the Lord has commanded, 
and his spirit has gathered them hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. So none shall be without its mate. Even for parents who are worrying about your uh, your sons, your daughters. He is forty now. He is not working, and he has to get married. First, let him work, then marry. <laughs> right? right? Hallelujah. Because your son may be, uh, like he's not respond, he's not ready. God knows it. You may be thinking, yeah, he's, uh, he's 40 now, he's not working and he's into wrong things and I want him to be married. First let him be responsible. Right? First let him be, uh, let him take up responsibility. And uh, if you do not bend your will in worship, then you will have crisis in your life. First, you have to bend your will in worship. God really doesn't care for who you think you are or your, your rejection of God, your attitude towards God. God doesn't. You obediently, that's worship. Obediently, God, whatever. Whatever you want to do in my life, that's blessing God. That's worshiping God. That's praising God. That is true worship. Hallelujah. 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 So, church, worship invites the presence of God. Worship is a weapon against worries. Even David says, Psalm 144, Blessed be the Lord who trains my hands for battle. We have a lot of, uh, uh, in the spiritual realm, even in the physical realm, a lot of battles to fight. In, it, in a way, every day we are fighting our battles. But unless God strengthens our hands, our heart, even though it is a for war, what is meant is uh, your spiritual battles, your physical battles. God will train you. God will form you. God will strengthen you. If it's on your screen, can you read that? 144, 1. Blessed be the Lord of my rock, who trains the hands for war and my fingers for battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God trains you. God trains you. So in worship, you get this training. In worship, uh, whatever you need, power, strength, God trains you. God, worship is your weapon. Use Many people don't know what to do when they are facing an inevitable event, maybe death of a dear one. So what do you do when you come to know my dear one is going to go away or maybe the land from my ground is going slipping away what do i do you enter into his presence or you invite his presence and you start worship you start praising god lord you are enthroned in my praises i praise you 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 are ble you are blessed forever you just praise god and you see things moving things changing once you kneel and then you get up then you can face life. You can face the world. Now you are unable and you get scared and uh, um, your heart beats, rises when you, that, and the tension, your head, you cannot, everything becomes stiff. You're, there's a big burden on your head because you do not understand that uh, uh, when you worship, everything will be lifted up. So many testimonies during adoration, during, during the Holy Mass, I was so stressed out, but some burden, heavy burden is lifted from my head, from my body. That's because worship has taken place. Worship has taken place. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the, the scripture that we, I read to you, they continually bless the Lord in the temple. They were continually blessing Lord in the temple. This is post-resurrection. After resurrection, what did the believers do? This is what the believers did. They did worship. Easter is over. Now itself people are waiting for Christmas to celebrate. You are not celebrating your life, the gift of God. We wait for birthday, but not celebrating one another, where we, uh, where we appreciate one another. That's because only in worship you understand how to celebrate life. You, you, are, you are acceptable. You are loved by God. You become a, a, a person who lifts people up because God is using to raise people up because you are raised. Hallelujah. 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 See, church, three things that the people, the faithful did after post-resurrection. They worship, they spend time 
re understanding the scriptures understanding the scriptures acts 242 tells us uh, day by day they were spending time uh, in with the apostles learning their their teachings breaking the bread and praising god if it's on your screen can you read this acts 242 they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and the prayers hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. so church worship do your worship but or never forget to read the word of god because you are reading christ you start reading god god will reveal to you your weakness god will align your life with his glory god will guide you because you are not spending time enough time like uh, nowadays with the social media with the instagram everybody wants to post word of god right or maybe read word of god through instagram or youtube or whatever social platform and even i used to put on my whatsapp status some word of god i will get in prayer i would get so excited i will put it but then later on i realized like that is not helping me because i put it and i forget it but i have to uh, soak the word of god has to soak in my heart like then uh, it has to become one with me i uh, now i know jesus saint jerome says ignorance of scripture is ignorance of christ so i have to know christ what would jesus do in a particular situation when he is faced with this impediment that's the thing right we are all in the conundrum of uh, some worry or some fear how to get out of it read the scriptures read the scriptures word of god you know christ and christ will guide you christ will light up your life that's very important don't don't um, don't just your your preacher would be good the your favorite preacher would be good don't just listen to him all the time all the time while not not spending time you have to open this uh, this this promises of god this presence of god this power of god and then uh, let it soak in you get to get into it maybe one word you don't have to read everything or two three chapters dwell on one word of god like a chicken over its head hatching it over you have to sit on the word of god in the presence of the lord and then you see there are so many cancer getting healed just by reading the word of god writing the word of god claiming the word of god it's not happening with you because you're not spending enough time you're spending time in other things uh, you see your life examine your soul uh, how much proportion of time you spend in the word of god i have told whatever you do to god whatever you bless god blessing will fall on you you spend on word of god word of god will protect you word of god will provide for you you don't have to worry about anything you spend time we don't have time for the word of god we don't have time for other things party uh, maybe uh, social gatherings or social media or just sleeping a long time as yes, i'm feeling lazy but even when you are feeling lazy uh, i am not saying all the time but at least a considerable time you give to god your time will multiply your strength will multiply your blessings will multiply we just hear multiplication of the bread but we don't want multiplication in our life god's blessing multiplies it always the more will be given to the person who has and they will have in abundance that's the word of god if you claim it god i thank you for raising me up bringing me this far but lord a distance i still have distance to cover before i close my eyes i need blessing more anointing more anointing hallelujah hallelujah so church spend they like the disciples they uh, they spend time in the word of god and one more thing they did they witnessed god they witnessed they boldly witnessed it started in acts 2 when peter made a bold proclamation faithful witness bold proclamation and they 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 proclaim jesus christ as the lord you have to share your story which is the testimony of god's miracle in your life 
right? So many people. I really, uh, we need crazy Christians. Like I have one guy, he, he goes to people of faith, like uh, he just wears the cross and people look at him with scorn, sometimes uh, hating him. But however, some homeless guy or some guy will come, uh, what is this that you are wearing this big cross? And then he starts, you, you have to believe in Jesus, Jesus will heal you. And the smile comes on their face after some time. It's not easy, but you, if you start boldly, people, the world needs Jesus. But nobody is giving Jesus. A Muslim, um, a preacher, he was a Muslim and then now came. He said, Christians are not doing enough. Born Christians are not doing enough because nobody is sharing. It was just for that one Christian who shared the gospel to me. Now I am preaching the gospel. Do you get it? You need to share. Don't hide your faith. And if you hide it, uh, you will also hear the word of God when you reach heaven. Matthew 10, 32. Whoever acknowledges me before others, God will acknowledge them. Can you read that word of God? Matthew 10, 32. Everyone, therefore, who acknowledges me before others, I also will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. So we need to share our story. We need to say to at least someone, or... Oh, Maybe you don't get a mic or you don't get anyone, but can you live a faithful life? Uh, your faithful life is enough. Even if you could, one person gets touched, like we preached, like we see our senior priest and our life changes. Wow, so close to God, uh, so much intimacy with God. How, when we get attracted, then we get attracted. Maybe even the priest, seeing their parents praying, they get attracted. Even someone, People will get attracted. You carry the fire, there will be there will be warmth around. But if you are if if within you is darkness and you don't believe, even you just pray but you don't believe it's true, then there is no fire. There is no fire within you. We carry the fire. Carry the fire. You have all been anointed through holy communion through. Um, through whole confirmation, you have the fire. Hallelujah. 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 So church, you, what we have to do now as we live our Christian life is we need to worship the Lord. We need to worship the God alone. God alone. Spend time praising God, blessing the Lord. That's your worship. Obey the Lord. That's your worship. Spend time uh, in the Word of God, in the Word of God, not to teach anyone. Sometimes as priests, when we go to chapel to read the Bible, it's not for me. I want to find some verse that I can teach you. Then God convicted me that... It, it's for you. The word of God is alive, active, two-edged sword. It cuts both the hearers and the preachers. But many a time when we when I go, is to teach someone some points, some points, or maybe you to post on Instagram, to post on YouTube. But that's not. Word of God will guide. Word of God will strengthen. And then witnessing. Three things if you are doing, you are living your Christian life. You are re truly living your Christian life. And God is God. He will take care. He is the creator of the universe. He knows. He knit your inward parts in your mother's womb. He knows everything that is happening within. Every cell, every nerve, every blood he knows what's happening inside, what's happening around. You don't have to worry, just worship. You will be surrounded within and around with God's presence, with God's blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please rise to worship as the Lord comes in our midst. Give him your worship. God knows your heart, what you will do now, what you will do later. Let there be people of worship heart of worship, offering to God what is due to Him. Let's praise Him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Please kneel. Thank you, Jesus.
Give him a love of praise and worship together. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 Lord with heart full of love and thanksgiving for his most precious presence here in the form of the Eucharist. This is the most precious time in our life to be in his living presence. He is within us in the form of Eucharist. His living presence is within us. His living presence is around us. We are in the presence of the living Lord. Open your eyes of faith. Look at him. In the presence of the Eucharistic Lord, heaven and earth are coming together. We are now together with the members of the heavenly family, with all the angels and saints, with Mother Mary, Saint Joseph, with all the apostles, we as one family in faith, we are before our Lord. Who is here to bless us, to speak to us, to hear us, to touch us, to console and comfort us, to heal us, to strengthen us. The meaning of our life, our energy, our strength is on the altar. Look at him in love. In your hearts, Just stay to him. Whisper 
Jesus I love you 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 those who are not able to say that ask the lord jesus i want to love you jesus i want to love you more than anything more than anybody who loves you more than anything in the world immerse me in your love i want to love you jesus i want to love you jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus i love you jesus keep away all your prayer petitions all the needs of this world we are here just to praise and worship him our love to be expressed our thanksgiving to be expressed for this most precious presence of the lord in the form of praise and worship as the spirit guides as the spirit leads and motivates you once again raise your voices and praise and worship the lord in whatever language the spirit invites and motivates you inspires you just be aware that you are in the presence of the lord the most precious time praise praise and worship Hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah Jesus, thank hallelujah you, Jesus. hallelujah 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 h
Jesus, you are everything. Jesus, you are my strength. Jesus, 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 I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, Jesus, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Those who eat of my flesh and drink of my blood will live forever. I abide in them and they abide in me. Please be seated in the presence of the Lord for some time with great reverence and respect, with complete awareness that we are in the presence of the living Lord. Closing your eyes, placing your hands in a comfortable position on your lap or on close to your heart or as you wish. Don't disturb others. Feel the presence of the Lord as the Spirit guides you. Talk to Him. Hear Him. Feel Him. Taste His presence in silence for some time.
the heart of Jesus is full of love overflowing. Surrender yourself completely to the most sacred heart of Jesus. The heart of Jesus is the most secured place. where we can experience complete joy, peace, comfort, consolation, protection, where no evil dare to approach. Consecrate yourself, surrender yourselves completely to that love. Immerse yourself to that love. All the areas of your life, your family, your parents, your spouse, your children, your siblings, as they are with all their needs, with the needs of your family, your own personal needs, the ups and downs in your life, the joys and sorrows, the sicknesses, the failures, the weaknesses, your daily struggles, everything. Completely you surrender. Immerse in the love of God. Through the immaculate heart of Mother Mary. Let us offer the children of our family, our own children, the children who are here now present in the presence of the Blessed Sacrament, the children who are watching online, the children whom we know, let us surrender them at the feet of the Lord. Immerse them in the love of our God. If we know any children who are suffering from any sickness, struggling with anything in their life. Let us offer them. And together, offering through the hands of Mother Mary to the hands of our Lord, we recite one Hail Mary together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. We offer all the teenagers, the youth, at the feet of the Lord. All their needs. The teenagers, the youth who are our children, who are here, who are watching online, who are in most need of the mercy of God, whom we know. Those who are struggling with their studies, those who are struggling in their life because of various issues, those who are into wrong relationships, those who are into various addictions, they know it is wrong, they want to come out, they do not know how to come out, they are struggling, we know them. They are children. We know they are struggling because God brought to our attention that we are, they are struggling. They are in need of help. Our prayers are needed. Let us offer them at the feet of the Lord. Those who are in traditions, those who are struggling with their studies, those who have different issues in their life, all the teenagers, the youth, the young adults especially, we offer them at the feet of the Lord. 
through the hands of mother mary into the hands of our lord together hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen offering all the families the families that don't experience peace or joy in their families where there is confusion where there is conflicts misunderstandings where there is lack of faith lack of family prayer offering our family as well as all the families at the feet of the lord desiring that the lord be the head of our family let his kingdom and his will be come let his peace be established let the faith of the members of the family be strengthened rooted let them experience the lord's love in their life offering all the families through the hands of mother mary to the hands of our lord hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen offering all those who are financially struggling those who are jobless offer them through the hands of mother mary to the hands of our lord hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen offering all the elderly but especially those who have lost their spouse those who are living alone the bachelors the spinsters offering all of them at the hands of the lord to the hands of mother mary so that they may be able to experience the lord's strengthening comforting presence and guidance in their life hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen offering all the couples waiting to be blessed with the gift of a child to proclaim god's glory offer through the hands of mother mary to the hands of the lord mother mary's request in the history there is whatever she asks the lord has never denied in that trust we offer and pray together hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen offering all the youth who are waiting to get married children from our own family those whom we know those who have requested prayers offering them at the feet of the lord to the hands of mother mary in faith we ask hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen offer all your prayer petitions 
let us be on our knees before the presence of the lord and now offer all your personal needs the prayer requests by others especially the sick and suffering the hospitalized known to us the cancer patients offer your journey back home offering completely at the feet of the lord once again raising your hands raising your voices praise and worship the lord glorify the lord and receive the blessing hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you lord we praise and worship you we adore you we worship you we adore you hallelujah 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 bless us oh lord sanctify us purify us anoint us deliver us heal us strengthen us empower us be with us guide us hallelujah 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 stretch out your wounded hands oh lord stretch out your wounded hands touch your people touch your children heal your children hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus let us pray together blessed be god blessed be god blessed be his holy name blessed be his holy name Blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the Holy Spirit the Paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother. Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse. Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Amen. Give a mighty clap to the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
So we have next retreat, uh, Promise of the Holy Spirit in preparation for the Pentecost Feast on May 4th and 5th. May 4th and 5th, uh, we have Promise of the Holy Spirit retreat. Those who wish to uh, attend can register online. Tomorrow we have healing prayer service for cancer patients and terminally ill, 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So Holy Mass and Adoration. Then tomorrow night vigil is there, 9.30 p.m. to 4 a.m. So night vigil tomorrow. Those who wish to come and pray and intercede for others, you are most welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Also, uh, in any way, if you can help the church, whether it is voluntary work or its maintenance, uh, we need, please help the church. Please rise. For tomorrow's prayer service for cancer patients, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for the sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. All those will be working in the night. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, <coughs> in us now and day, our Father, Amen. Request your prayers for the ministry and the choir and also all the prayer petitions placed here. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us now and day, our Father, Amen. Hallelujah. 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 This came to my mind that during the Mass, during the Holy Communion time, uh, people who come to receive communion, I mean, when the priest says, Body of Christ, what is the response? Amen. Yeah, please don't say thank you. <laughs> so please, uh, when you receive. And also, uh, parents teach your children that they have to stretch out. They have to extend their hand. So do not let the priest... Uh, bend too low where the son may be keeping it low and when the priest is trying still trying to so don't so you teach the child to stretch even for adults if you are doing it so you have to extend your hand so that you receive jesus and keep your one hand down so that particles of the body of christ does not fall hallelujah Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, shall be, world without sin. Amen. Good night, and God bless you. Oh